Now I'm going to introduce certain basic axioms. Axioms are that certain prevailing truth to which you do not need to give proof. So I'm going to prove certain axioms. I mean, I'm going to write certain axioms for you. See, when when you say universal set, that means all the events that can happen are covered in that set. So the probability of that particular set happening is one. That means, see, if I'm writing S as the universal set, that means all the values. Suppose I take the example of rolling a die only. That means the probability of S is equal. equal to 1. Why? Because when you are conducting an experiment where you say rolling of a die, that means you are at least sure that you are going to roll a die, then only will you get an outcome. Otherwise you cannot get an outcome only. So probability of you rolling a die is 1. So that is why we say, say that the probability of the sample space is the universal set is 1. Is everybody clear with this? Puja, are you clear with it? Okay. Cool. Now, the next is, suppose A is a subset of S. That means, a contains some values which are there in S. Then probability of A is greater than or equal to 0. See, probability of A greater than 0 we understand. But why equal to sign? It may be equal to also. Because if A contains nothing, there is no value in A. Null set. And S contains some value. What we have defined earlier. A null set is also a subset of S. So probability of A here will be 0. Null set means nothing is contained in it. So the probability of A here will be 0. Is everybody clear with the second point? Okay. <coughs> Good. Now the third point, what we are going to discuss is, probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. How? Let us take the Venn diagram again. This is A, this is B. Then this is A intersection B. And this whole is A union B. Now see, if I say probability of A union B is equal to probability of A, that means This entire part I'm covering, probability of A happening. So I've covered this one. Now when I say plus probability of B, that means this entire thing, this whole thing. Now don't you think I've double counted A intersection B? Once while writing probability of A, then second by, while writing probability of B. So this A intersection B has been counted twice. That's why we subtract A intersection B once to get probability of A union B. Is everybody clear with this?
So let's answer question 2.7 then. Please again write it as one dot answer and two dot answer. Everybody please answer question 2.7. Is everybody clear that is it working or not? You just have to work it out yourself and give me yes it is working for A and no it is not working for B. Or you want me to give an explanation whether it is working or not. So if you are getting it that yes it is working, please write for one yes and for second write no. <coughs> Exactly. I think Ms. Minakshi has given you the reason also why yes and no. See, A and B are independent. That's why it's working for A. When A and B are independent, A intersection B will be zero. So it works for first case. But when you see second case, A and C are not independent. So it does not work for second part. All right, clear to everybody that name. All right. 